how powerful is a whip and also how hard is it to use it. I love the Indiana Jones movies because it makes it look so easy. But seeing as the next movie is gonna be the last, I feel like I'm about to lose one of my heroes. And that's why I'm gonna learn how to use a whip. Here is the plan. I wanna learn how to crack the whip. I wanna test how powerful it is against three different targets. I wanna learn to disarm somebody with a whip and grab stuff with a whip. I wanna become extremely accurate with it. Then I'm gonna try to destroy my phone. <laughs> Let's do it! First time ever holding a whip, and I already love it. It is longer than I am. It's actually two mics, to be precise. It's made out of rated leather, and when used properly, the tip can move up to 900 miles per hour. And as I was about to find out, this thing could do some serious damage to objects and myself. That's the portion of the whip that makes the loud sonic boom sound. Thanks to that, it is possible to use a whip to strike a target, disarm somebody, and even cut objects clean in half. There was just one problem. I have absolutely no idea how to do any of these things. So I started practicing, but it quickly turned out to be much harder than I thought. I was expecting it to get it right away, but almost everything was a struggle. First of all, the whip was moving randomly every single time. Because I had no control, I was extremely scared of whipping myself. Oh! <laughs> but right after hurting my leg, there was a breakthrough. Woo! I <laughs> Did you hear that? But still, I didn't really have a technique. Oh. And the next thing I knew, I hit myself really hard. It hurts so much. Like, seriously, really hard. Right now, the whip is hurting myself more than anything else. I managed to crack it once and it wasn't even that loud. So I guess I'm gonna watch the tutorial. Oh my god, that hurt. So I spent a few minutes watching some tutorials and I actually realized what I'd been getting wrong. I should bring the whip in this position. So basically the entire whip behind me. And now I should do this movement, stop here and then move forward. And that should crack the whip. In theory. Let's try it. <laughs> and just like that, I started to get it again and again. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you hear that? That was extremely loud. That's insane. Here's the problem though. I feel like I'm cracking it right here. How do I crack it, let's say, against the target? I have no control over it right now. So I watched a few more tutorials to try and avoid injuring myself any worse. And then it clicked. I started trying to copy exactly what the pros were doing, but my skills seemed to be going backwards. Somehow, after swinging this whip hundreds of times, I was getting worse. I have no idea. But just as I was about to give up for the day... Oh, I actually did it. What? <laughs> so I kept trying. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I keep trying randomly and changing things and then it clicks! That meant I was ready to try out the first real challenge. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's break some stuff right now. Before trying the apple, I wanted to see if I could hit a bigger target. But I couldn't imagine what happened on my very first try. No way. No way. How powerful is that thing? Then I tried it again and I got it even better. This is insane. But the real question was, <laughs> would I be able to break the apple and all the harder targets we're gonna test next? I was getting close, Ooh. but my technique still wasn't good enough. But considering I wanted to smash a phone with this whip later on, that wasn't a good sign. Then I realized a big problem. I had the wrong mindset because this skill is not all about power. It's about the technique. So I focused on what I'd learned. I didn't just try to swing as hard as I could. Instead, I I focused on trying to get the crack right against the target. And then I finally hit the perfect shot. And I knew it was time to try the hard wow. stuff. Second out of three power tests. Can this sweep actually break this can? Let's find out, I guess. I'm actually under a bridge right now. So the echo is pretty insane. It's insane. The problem was, I was so excited about how it sounded that I started to lose focus. And that caused a pretty big problem. My accuracy is extremely bad. I don't even know where I'm aiming. I really wasn't feeling like Indiana Jones at this point. I either had the accuracy, but no power. Just like that, but stronger. Or the power, but no accuracy. No way. But I knew the only way to get both was to keep trying. Oh. Come on, I'm super close. No way. But just as I was getting closer, I was also getting super tired. Then it got worse. I was so tired that I accidentally crushed one of the cans on the ground. Meaning now I had just one target to aim for. I'm getting so frustrated. Oh my god. My hand is on fire, guys. I think I'm missing something because the whip right now is not cracking when it hits the can. When the whip cracks, that's the moment in which it brings more speed and more power. I need to get better with my technique first. So what I was doing before, I was starting from here, moving the whip around 
and basically hitting that way. So starting from here and hitting that way. But you see, there's no power there. Sure, I'd broken an apple, but if I wanted to have any hope of destroying the can, let alone the phone, I had to make sure I was getting the crack right against the target. You see, the crack is there. I then started hitting the can pretty consistently, but I couldn't break through the metal. I literally got my best hit ever, but it still didn't break. I don't know, guys. Better than that? I'm really not sure. But I was still confident. I spent so long improving my technique. I knew it was just a matter of time before I got the power and the accuracy at the same time. And then this happened. Yes! <laughs> yes! I almost lost hope. Instead, we started. We got better and we actually got it. But that only meant that it was time for the next challenge. So before moving to the next test and before trying to break my phone, I want to see what happens to the apples if I use the new technique. A few hours ago, I was whipping myself oh! and I had no accuracy or power whatsoever. Now, you see what I mean? Like I'm cracking it perfectly every single time. And I'm also way more accurate than before. This time, instead of taking two hours, I broke two apples in just four tries. I feel so great. I feel extremely confident about my my skills with this thing. I had one final target left, the hardest one on the list. Either the whip was gonna destroy it or the phone was gonna destroy the whip. So before doing that, I had to learn a few other insane skills. Starting with finding out if the crazy whip tricks I saw in Indiana Jones were actually possible. A whip not only is a weapon able to cut, destroy and make loud noises, it can also be a useful tool. Imagine if you find yourself in this situation. There is a fake hand holding a fake gun and you're trapped. You have no options available. Unless you're Indiana Jones. The goal of this challenge is disarming somebody using a whip. But it turns out the whip, with a decent technique, is actually much more powerful than I expected. I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Listen, I got no time to go buy a new gun, so imagine this a uh, completely fine and working gun. So what I want to try now is hitting the gun, but with the gun in front of me. So imagining I was in incredible danger, I let the spirit of Harrison Ford possess me, and on literally the second try, completely disarmed. But it turns out the whip isn't just good for self-defense. Now I'm gonna actually prove this can be a useful tool. The second trick I saw from Indiana Jones is grab this stuff. Basically, by using a certain type of crack, you can wrap the whip around the objects and basically grab them. Oh my god, almost! I was so close every time, but something was missing. Here's the problem. I can wrap it around stuff, but it unwraps immediately, and I don't know how to do it. It looks so freaking cool, but it wasn't grabbing properly. But then, finally, I saw a glimpse of hope. I was determined to get it, but I quickly realized I was just getting lucky, and there was something else I needed to change to master this technique. On this pole, the grip works two times out of ten, but look if I try on this thing. One, really strong grip. Two, Really strong grip. Now, I really knew I had it. It works every single time. So I guess the trick is trying to grip the right things. I don't think I'll be picking up my cup of coffee like this, but my skills have become more precise. With the new and improved technique, not only feel that I got much more powerful, I would actually prove that I got the accuracy down. So the hardest accuracy test I've ever tried, and I tried it with cards, arrows, a sword, is blowing out a candle without hitting the candle. And now, I'm gonna try it with a whip. You know what's the real problem though? We only got three candles, so can't miss. After not that many tries, I'd already broken the first candle. <sighs> this was so hard. I had to crack the whip just millimeters from the candle, while also trying not to break it. There was literally zero margin for error. Come on, I'm so close. A couple of tries later, I broke the second candle which meant I only had one left. Last candle, guys. Last one. Gotta be extremely careful. Moments later, I thought I might have screwed this challenge up completely when I hit the last candle. But by miracle, it survived the hit. That means I had one extra chance. But if you learned anything after 160-something skills, it's when you don't give up, you will succeed. Yes! 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 Let's move to the next test. I was feeling great, but was it really powerful enough to destroy my phone? It was time to find out. I knew to do that, I was gonna need the perfect combination of power and accuracy. We saw that the whip was able to completely destroy a bottle of water, absolutely explode an apple, and also a can of soda with the proper technique. But here's the question though. Is a whip able to destroy a smartphone? I'm not using my brand new phone, are you mad? But don't worry, I bought a new one for this test. 50 euros fun right here, more than enough. Perfect. So I got it set up and it was time to try and destroy it. I literally have no idea what's gonna happen, but there's only one way to find out. So I tried to focus as much as I could and I started trying. And though I missed the first shot, I was feeling great. Just listen to that crack. 
I hit it on my second try, but it didn't break. I did damage it though. You can clearly see the mark here. And I knew this phone was gonna be in places if I could nail the technique. But just when my hits didn't seem to be having any effect, I hit it so hard that after that I couldn't even find it. I was so sure I'd done it. The phone literally bounced through the rubble. But it turned out this phone was as indestructible as Indiana Jones hiding in a fridge. It's perfectly fine. The back came off, but the phone itself was completely okay. I wondered if we might have hit the limit of what this whip could actually do. Okay, I think the phone is definitely too strong for the whip, but I think I got a solution. I genuinely couldn't have hit the phone any better. So I decided to give my whip a little upgrade. You remember when I told you what is the cracker? When I use the whip, this little rope right here is the portion of the whip that brings more energy and more power. And it's also the portion of the whip that hits the target and causes damage. This cracker right here is made out of fabric a soft material, and it still causes a ton of damage. What if the cracker was made out of, let's say, steel? This is the cracker before, and this is the cracker right now. <laughs> let's test it. Before trying with the phone, I wanna test it out a few times, and let's see how it does. But while adding steel to my whip, it could also do more damage to myself. Oh! Definitely hurts more than before. But on the plus side, I could break things so easily with this new cracker. Easy. Then I also made an even stronger cracker. Let's try it with a soda can. If I open it at the first attempt, there's definitely something dangerous about this. And just like that, look at the cut. Look how clean this cut is. You see what happened? This thing is scary. It's scary. I really wasn't expecting it, but I guess now we're gonna try with this thing. I felt so ready. I knew that if I just focused on the technique, I'd nail the shot and make Indiana Jones proud. All right, guys. It doesn't work this way. It really doesn't work. I just wanna see what happens. I set the phone up again, but as I was preparing to strike, I realized something. Our heroes aren't actually very different to us. They've probably just spent more time practicing something that we have. But when you refuse to give up, you can become your own hero. Definitely got it. If you like this video, I think you like this one too. Go check it out.